In this video, Timmy shows you how to print a PDF from your Chromebook. But before we get started, you will need to have already set up and connected your printer to your Chromebook. If you've printed other stuff in the past from your Chromebook, you'll be good to go. But if you've never used this printer with your Chromebook before, you'll want to go and watch one of Timmy's previous videos first, where Timmy shows you how to get your printer set up and working with your Chromebook. That video is a few years old now, but Timmy's just rewatched it and checked it all, and it's all still pretty accurate. Everything just looks a bit more modern now, but you can follow along with that video and you should be good to go then. But then, once your printer is connected to your Chromebook, you're ready to go ahead and print your PDF with it. And this will be slightly different depending on where your PDF is. If you have a PDF saved to your Chromebook and it's in the Files app here like this, you'll need to double click on it to open it up in the PDF viewer. And now you can see your PDF here and you can scroll down through it if you want to. But to go ahead and print it, you'll need to come up to the top menu across the top here and click on this printer icon here. And now it'll pull up the basic printing menu for Chrome. So as we can see, we have all these printer settings here, but before you go ahead and print your PDF, you will probably need to look through a few of these settings. The main one is the destination here. So this is choosing which printer you want it to print with. So Right now, it might be set to your printer, or it might be set to a different printer, or it might even say save as PDF, which would just save your PDF as a PDF, which would be very unhelpful. So you need to click on this drop down menu here and just choose your correct printer. So you can click on it in this list here, or if you don't see it in that list, you might just need to click see more and then you'll see all the printers that you can choose on your Chromebook. So we'll select this one here. And now you'll be on the correct printer. So you're pretty much ready to print, but you can adjust a few other options if you want to. One option would be pages. So by default, it'll print all the pages, but you could choose odd pages only or even pages only, but that'd be a bit weird. If you wanted to change the pages, you might choose custom, and then you could type a range, so like one to five, or you could specify eight, 11, and so on with commas in between them. Timmy actually only wants to print the first page, so Timmy will just type a one in there, and now it's only going to print page one of the PDF, but you could do whatever you want there, and we have copies, so if you wanted two of them, you could make that two, but we don't really need that. We'll just stick with one copy. And Timmy's printer is a color printer, so Timmy could print color if Timmy wanted to. So we have this option here, color, and that's actually set to black and white at the moment, but we could change that to color if we wanna make it color. And now we can see this picture will be printed with the color. So if your printer is only a black and white printer, you might not have that option at all. But if you have a color printer, you can choose whether you want to print it in color or in black and white to save some ink or something. But you can also click more settings down here. And this is not very necessary to change any of this, but if you wanted to, you could. Paper size by default always seems to be letter, but really most printers are A4. So you could probably change it to A4 it won't really be a big deal. Most of these paper sizes are basically the same sort of size. So you could print it out set to letter, even though it's an A4 printer, and it will probably still look perfectly fine. But if you wanna be exact, you could change it to A4. Paper type is plain, pages per sheet one. So yeah, most of this isn't very helpful. But if you just wanted to change the paper size, or you had a more advanced reason to change any of that, you might wanna do that but mostly you don't need to come into more settings at all. But now, once you're happy with all the settings here, you can just go ahead and click print. And now, assuming your printer is working correctly, 
it should start printing. So, our PDF will come out of the printer now. And now, we have our PDF. So, that's all there is to it if the PDF was saved in the Files app on your Chromebook. But another option where you might have a PDF is if you were in Chrome and someone had sent you a PDF attached to an email in Gmail. So we can see here, there's this PDF here. And in here, if you click on a PDF to open it up, it won't open up in that same window we saw before. It'll open it up here, and then you'll come up and click this print icon in the top right corner. And then this kind of gets confusing. It opens the PDF in a new tab, where you once again just need to click the print icon again. So it kind of feels like it didn't work the first time, but the first time it just opens it up in this tab where you can actually print it from. But now, we have this same printing menu here. So once again, you'll make sure you select the correct printer here and make sure it's not set as save to PDF. And you can choose a page range if you want. We might do all pages this time, but you could choose specific pages if you wanted to. You could do copies, you could do color or black and white, and you could change extra settings if you want to. And as you can see, it's actually remembered the setting we did last time. So it's set to A4 now which is handy. But then, once you're happy with all of that, you'll just go ahead and click print. And now, it'll print it. And now, you have the PDF that someone emailed you, printed out like that. And now, the third and final option to me is going to show you is sometimes, if you're on a website or something, and there's a link to open or download a PDF, you might click that link, and it'll actually just open it up in a new tab like this, where you can see it here. So then, if you have a PDF like this, all you need to do is click on the print icon in the top right-hand corner, and this same printing menu will appear. So you can choose your printer, number of pages, copies, color, black and white, everything like that. And then you'll go ahead and click print. And now, that PDF will print. And that's pretty much all the different interfaces the PDF might open in. But if you ever open a PDF and it's in a different looking interface, there will probably still be a printer icon somewhere that you can click on to print your PDF. So just look around the screen for that. And if you can't find one, you can always use the keyboard shortcut Control P to bring up that same printing menu for you. But that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful to get your PDF printed and to me, I'll see you in the next one.